Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and I wanted to share a build with you that I made called the Raven's Roost. It's a temple that honors the two ravens of Odin, Hugin and Mugen. All of the materials used in this build were collected by hand, no cheats or mods were used. Have lattice work on the ceiling from the dark wood beams with the brazers hanging for light. Have a bird bath here and since you can't put water in there I put seeds in there for the raven that is standing over it. It took a lot of golem hunting to get enough crystals to make all of these windows. But I like how it turned out, so I think it was time well spent. The pews on both sides are fully functional, you can sit in them. I placed locks rugs at the feet of the pews for a little bit of decoration. And certain trophies down the center aisle. I also put some crystal walls in the gap where the Sertling trophies are, hoping that it would kind of fracture the light that they give off a little bit, but you can't really tell. That's okay though, it still looks pretty cool. Everything you see is still a work in progress, subject to change, still working on the landscaping. But over here we have a funeral pyre. You can see the pile of logs underneath, ready to be burned and turned the viking into ash, if that is what they so choose to do. I thought about putting a box there with a bow, some fire arrows, and a torch, as if you can light the funeral pyre with those things, but I haven't gotten to it just yet. Next up is the graveyard. He used stone thrones and buried them halfway into the ground for the headstones, just regular stone piles for the grave sites themselves, and after I collected all of those crystals for the chapel, um, I had also accumulated a few uh, golem trophies. So I buried those in the stone piles, and that's what's given off the cool smoky kind of glittering effect from the graves themselves. And then I used blue torches behind the headstones to give that cool kind of burning spirit look to the headstones themselves. Next we have the mausoleum with a sarcophagus in the middle. Once again used the stone thrones and buried them for the walls of it and then the dark wood to line it and make the lid of the sarcophagus. Inside are a couple of iron torches with blue flames and they lead the light through it to give it that kind of glowy look. So that's my chapel, funeral, pyre, and graveyard. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. Bye!